Welcome to getting started with NextGen Plus. You have already have NextGen Gallery installed, and now you want to install NextGen Plus. So you go to Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, choose your plugins, find it where you downloaded it, and hit Open, and then Install. So it's a little different than NextGen Gallery because it's not on the WordPress directory. You can activate that plugin, and the immediate change that you'll see is actually included inside of Gallery Settings. In gallery settings, you'll see a lot more features here than you did before. You see a lot more styles, starting with Pro List Album and then below. Also, in other options, you'll notice a new field called Image Protection. So with, let's start here. When turned on, you can actually um, protect right-click and drag capability within your website. These are only with the next-gen galleries. However, if you want to disable that right-click um, feature completely on your site, you can just hit yes, and now the image protection also works on your entire website. I'm going to hit save, and then go back to gallery settings so you can see the new gallery settings. So here's the Pro List album. Again, very similar to what was before with the Pro Compact and Pro Extended, but you've got a lot of customization features like borders and colors and things that um, a, lot, a lot easier to work with. You don't need custom CSS in order to adjust. Um, it's all very, very um, straightforward in the user interface for you. Grid album, same thing. Um, it's very similar. Basically, ProList album is like the basic extended album, but um, more modern styling and easy to customize. And Pro Grid album is like the basic compact album, but a um, more modern style and easy to customize. The Pro Masonry Gallery, this is a grid style gallery. This is sort of like a Pinterest type um, masonry, you know, bricks over bricks type of uh, gallery. And that is uh, built into NextGen Plus. Pro Film, this is basically like a thumbnail style, but it has borders that give it more of like a slide or Polaroid type look if you want it. Pro Blog Style, this is basically uh, large images straight down in the list. Very popular among photographers. Pro Grid Album. So this is just like your basic thumbnail album, but it is a more modern styling and has a cool hover effect. And you have some border controls as well. Pro Film Strip ga uh, Horizontal Film Strip Gallery. This is a slideshow at the top with small thumbnails below that you can easily navigate. And then, of course, Pro Slideshow, which is uh, the modern slideshow with really great transitions and speed control and aspect ratio and all these are fully responsive. Now, like um, NextGen Gallery, you can go to a new post and add to the add a gallery to the post and you'll see all these new pro styles. So here's the pro thumbnail grid and the pro slideshow and the horizontal film strip. You can see the large slideshow with the small thumbnails below it. Pro Film with the thick borders, Pro Blog Style. Here's the masonry. You can see the grid style over here. And then, of course, the Pro Albums as well. So I'm going to do a quick Pro Masonry so you can see. I'm going to add a gallery, test gallery, customize this. I'll make this actually 200, in, uh, 200 pixels at the widest with one padding as spacing, and I'm going to save. And then I'm going to say Masonry and publish. If I view the post now, you'll see that I now have a masonry gallery here with one pixel in between. So they're very, it's very tight right now. I can make the spacing wider or, you know, leave it as is. You can make it zero if you want it to be flush and so on. Um, but I also want to show you something else that's really neat. So if we go to, back to other options and we go to the lightbox effects, switch that to pro lightbox. Now, the Pro Light Box is, is exclusive to NextGen Plus and NextGen Pro. You can see here that you've got um, actually a default styling on right now. So right now, if I save this as is, let's save this. I'm going to open a new tab and open Masonry. And if I click this, this is the default styling for the Pro Light Box. It's a black uh, background, white icons. And if I click on the, the uh, commenting, bubble at the bottom, it actually opens the comment field and you can type in um, great photo and leave a comment. 
And then you can also reply to that. Love it. So you can reply and have threaded inline conversations about one specific photo. You also no notice there are, uh, there's actually these social sharing icons up here above the image. You can actually share to Pinterest, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter right within the Pro Light box. It'll share only this image. Yes, that means this is actually deep linked, which means I can actually share this anytime, this URL right here, anytime with somebody, and when they click on it, it will load this exact same view. If you click on one of these social sharing links, it actually shares this URL. Um, I can hide that. Now, I can also bring up this info bar right here that has the title of the image and the description of the image, and then again, social sharing icons down here. There's also the full screen. Now, I'm already in full screen mode right now for, the, for this demo, so uh, I can't really show you full screen mode. I guess I can. It'll just do this. Just hide that little bit of a top bar that you just saw. Um, but full screen mode, if you weren't in, if I wasn't already in full screen mode, then it would take over the whole screen and it will just display large. You also have this play pause button for the pro light box. So it'll actually display uh, this in a slideshow so you can just let it go. You can also hide the, the carousel at the bottom and there you go. So this is the pro light box. Um, there's a couple keyboard shortcuts so I can hit left and right to navigate through this. I can hit up to bring up the title and uh, description. I can hit down to bring up the carousel. I can hit space to open and close the comments and I can hit F to go to full screen. And then of course hit escape to exit. That is the pro light box. Um, it is beautiful. You can also customize as I mentioned a lot of different features about it. So that's the dark theme. There's also all black which the comment, the borders from the comment panel and the background of the comment panel go to black. The all white is an all white based theme. And I can do that, refresh this page. And now if I open the ProLight box, now it's this beautiful bright white theme instead of it being a darker theme. And of course you can customize more about it as well. So you can customize the icon colors if you want. You can customize floating element colors. You can customize a sidebar background color. You can make it brandable, branded to your company, to your website. Have it flow seamlessly. You can also have it display the comments by default by turning that on. Display captions by default. Display the carousel by default. Change transition speeds and all that fun, great stuff. All easily, uh, anytime within here. So you basically go to other options, lightbox effects, pro lightbox, and then um, let me just refresh this so you can see from start, lightbox effects, pro lightbox, and all the settings are here. So that is NextGen Plus. It is very, very basic. Um, uh, just like NextGen Gallery has a lot of really cool uh, modern features um, to add on top of NextGen Gallery, but it's as easy and basic to use as NextGen Gallery. Um, loads fast, displays your images beautifully. Oh, and one other thing worth mentioning is these display triggers. So each gallery has uh, the ability to display display triggers. What this means is you can actually have it so um, you can hit the comment and it'll actually load the first image for masonry at least. It'll load the first image with the comments or you can have the other one which just loads the um, slideshow, pro, the pro light box as it is. Now, if I want to create a new gallery, or actually if I go to, it is test gallery. So here we are at test gallery. I can edit this. And we'll change this to a pro film. Uh, leave it as is. I'll leave the default settings as is. Display the triggers. Uh, and yeah, and I'll update that. So here we are now at the test gallery. And you can see the display triggers are now under each thumbnail. So the beautiful thing is I can now show comments on that specific image. Whereas masonry, you can only start at the first image if you use the display triggers. So display triggers do, do not have to be used. It's all up to you um, if you want to use them or not. You can turn them on off to on or off by default within gallery settings. And again, that is NextGen Plus. Uh, if you want all the features that are inside of NextGen Plus, but you also want e-commerce, 
then you can pick up Next Gen Pro uh, in, uh, instead of Next Gen Plus, which Next Gen Pro has everything inside of Next Gen Plus with the advantage of also having the e-commerce features. So that's Next Gen Plus for you, how to get started with it. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know.